If you think that only melee weapons benefited from the recent melee rework, think again. Frames that have exalted weapons also benefited from the changes that have been implemented during the old blood update, just take for example Baruch. Space Monk was never appealing to some Warframe players, just because of one thing that he is lacking, a good damage output for his exalted fist. Don't get me wrong, this monk can destroy mid-tier enemies in the past, but that's it. Well, if his law suggests that his fist wasn't meant to deal damage, he's a pacifist squad leader, and you can't change that. Do you really believe in that? Every frame hides a demon inside and, even the calm and peaceful space monk has it inside. All he needs are the right mods to unleash that devilish fisting power. First thing we need, is lots of power strength on our space monk. I 300 plus percent power strength will give this frame 100k plus damage on his desert wind. Not only that, but power strength actually helps on his survivability since his desolate hands will gain more daggers when you have lots of power strength. In my case, I have 25 daggers with this build. 9 of those are meant for damage reduction, while the other 16 daggers will help out in eroding this frame's restraint bar. Also, adaptation will perfectly match the 90% damage reduction of desolate hands. Not to mention that you gain addition 40% damage reduction while your fourth ability is active. Given all that damage reduction, it's safe to say that you won't even need to loot anymore, because you will almost have a 100% damage reduction. Yes, I know how good a loot is when it comes to eroding the restraint bar of Baruch but, hear me out. Your desolate hands can help you erode the restraint bar plus, if you build this frame for low duration, this will cause his lull ability to be an effective way to erode the restraint bar quick and easy. Just slap an efficiency mod to help out with energy management, then add stretch so that it can cover a wide area. And congratulations, you can now maintain your restraint to its lowest possible value. The rage mod is personal preference, and it wouldn't be needed at all if you are using Xenurix Energizing Dash as your focus, plus a max out arcane energize. Energy won't be a problem if you have both of what I have mentioned and, rage is not effective for this build since you will get a little amount of energy back as you will have almost 99% damage reduction with this mod setup. In fact, I will form a brook after this, and place a max streamline on this slot. Last but not the least, steel charge is a must, since this mod allows us to reach that 100k plus damage for heavy attacks on our exalted fist. Ok, now let's move on to his desert wind. As you can see, I'm focusing on a heavy attack build on his exalted fist. Why? simply because of two reason. One is that, Baruch don't really benefit from the combo counter. Admit it or not, Space Monk is more fun to use while you are rare bending and, unlike Valkyrie's Talons, Baruch's Exalted Fist can't build up combo fast. It's more like Excalibur's Exalted Blade, but only less powerful. The second reason why is because, of all the setup, Heavy Attack gives out the most damage. 100k plus damage is no joke and this allows us to deal a million damage to those unarmored units, regardless of their levels. So how about armored enemies squad leader, does it deal the same damage output? Sadly, it doesn't deal the same million damage but, it can still one shot these level 135 armored enemies. You may not see broken numbers on your screens, but it still gets the job done. The trick to one shot kill a heavy armored enemy with Baruch's heavy shot, is to strip away some of the enemy's armor and then finish him up with your killing kick. 200k to 400k damage to armored enemies is no joke also, and it shows you how good the phase 2 melee rework has to our resident space monk, but before you go destroying everything with your million damage Baruch, I just want to warn you that there's a current bug right now that crashes your game when using Baruch's heavy attack. I don't know if this only happens to this frame, or it's a widespread phenomena, and even melee weapons, and other frames are affected by it. If you have experienced the same thing, share it on the comment box below, or, bombard the forums about this current bug, as it's probably taking away the fun that we possibly could have with the new and improved Space Monk. I really hope this bug gets fixed as soon as possible, as I can't wait to go have some dumb fun with my brook in an endless elite sanctuary on Slaughter Run. Also, don't you ever think that this is the final form of Baruch's million damage setup? An update will come soon featuring some crazy augments for this frame and, I can't also wait what I can do with Baruch with those augments. So that's it. I hope that you find this video informative. 
If you did, please leave a like on this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe on our channel for more Warframe goodness. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.